World Cup coverage continues here on City News. Sandra and Duncan with you once again. And we've had a little bit of time to digest Canada's 1-0 loss to Belgium. Off the top, Canada showing it belongs. You know, a lot of people have been using the word pride. Being proud, I would use the word brave. Mm -hmm. It was such a brave performance. Brave from the coach John Herdman in the way he set the team up with the high press against Belgium. Brave from the players who left everything on the field. You saw them slump to the ground at the full-time whistle, exhausted for the effort that they gave their country. And, you know, before the tournament, we weren't really sure mm -hmm. how Canada fare against the very best. And now, after that game, even though it was a defeat, I feel even more confident in the team of progressing out of the group stage. And I think that performance, you know, sends shockwaves through the world. Okay, I want you to put your player's hat on again because you did play professionally. As a player, how do you recover from this loss and focus on Croatia? I would block out all the noise that has been, all the plaudits that have been said about the team. Because if you look at it in the cold light of day, it was a defeat. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a good performance, but we are in the results business and we need to get results to get out of the group stage. Um, it'll be recovery the day after the game and it'll just be tactical work. You know, all the, all the physical work has been done before the tournament. They're playing for their club sides. It's all about how do we face this Croatia side and how do we get the ball to Jonathan David or Kyle Larin and make use of them because in attack, we were kind of blunt. Well, don't forget, Croatia finished second four years ago when this tournament was in Russia. They lost to France in the final. Still a formidable squad. How does Canada beat them? I think by playing the same way they did. Be aggressive in the approach. Um, Croatia were really fantastic against Morocco, and I think the Canadians will take a lot of inspiration from that and that they can go after playing really well against the number two team, go up against Croatia, face them man-to-man, and get the ball in attack more. Give the opportunities. Give Alfonso Davis the ball. Tejon Buchanan was fantastic. Give those wingers the ball. Send the crosses in. And give Jonathan David an opportunity at goal because he was really quiet. And mm -hmm. I think that is the one thing that John Hurtman will be working on in the, in the days leading up to the match is how do we get the balls into the penalty area. 22 shots on goal against Belgium. Right. But nothing really troubled Thibaut Courtois. And that's what they need to work on. Get that right. I think it will look good against Croatia. What's your prediction? I, I want Canada to play for something in the final game. Um, so at least a point gives them that opportunity to get a win against Morocco and four points might be enough to get out of this group. We will see what happens on Sunday. It's Canada versus Croatia at the World Cup in Qatar. Kickoff is in the morning.